environment like when you first started coming to Bread of Life Food Pantry and how did families receive food? More of being at a, at a fast food line where people are yelling back the orders and then the people in the back are yelling to confirm the orders and it was, um, it was less neighbor friendly than, than what we see it is now. How did you feel about using a food pantry the first time you came in? Um, very well because we were without food. I mean, our meals when we were homeless was uh, Wesco popcorn. That was our meal. So when we found out about the food pantry, we started coming. Sometimes I feel like I'm not good enough. And if I come somewhere to get something, to receive something, and they treat me, like I'm not good enough. That just adds to it. I don't get that here. When I walk in, I know you care about me. And I really appreciate that. Wow, I can tell that it has a lot of meaning for it you. It does. Yeah, it was, it hurt. It hurt to have to come and ask for help. I was not raised that way. And I'm not against charity. I mean, there are times when if someone gives you something out of the kindness of your heart, you receive it and you receive it as well as you can. And, um, and so it wasn't about its charity. It was just about asking. I don't like to ask for help. And, um, and I know that <clears throat> no matter what I go through, there is someone else who needs help more than I do. So it was hard. That was hard for me. When you started to hear about the changes taking place at the pantry, what were your thoughts about being able to choose your foods versus being handed a bag or a box of food? I was not sure I was going to like it, but once we started coming in and doing it, it was a very nice change. I like, I'm a visual processor. I like walking down through and seeing things on the shelf before that didn't happen. Um, I like the change. Because we're walking around with someone, because someone's walking around with us, we can have a personal conversation with them and let them know that there are certain things that we can't, and they can give us whatever. It's, it's a lot different from having someone yell, tuna or chicken. Yeah. You know, you yeah. walk down through and, and you're shown these are the choices you have. You can have one of these, you can have two of these. And it's just, uh, it's so much friendlier. It's just so, mu it's so nice. I mean, you don't get that at the, you don't get it at any, there isn't any store that you go to where they walk around and help you make choices. And, and the choices that we're, we're given here are good choices. A lot. When we come here, we, we feel the love. Hi, my name is Sandy and I'm a volunteer here at the pantry. And Sandy, when you first started volunteering at Bread of Life Food Pantry, what was the environment like? How would you describe it? It was a little bit stark. Um, we bagged food in, in, in grocery bags and handed it to the people coming in, and we had very little contact with those receiving food. And how did you feel about the idea of transitioning to a My Choice Pantry when that discussion started to happen? It sounded scary. It sounded like it would be chaotic, that there'd be people coming and going in and out, going on my shelves that I had to get the food off of. But the more we talked about it, I thought at a grocery store, we all take the food off the shelf. So the people coming should be able to pick their can they wanted. And so in thinking about it, we slowly got used to the idea of this may work. And obviously it has worked. 
how has my choice, the transition, impacted the way that you interact with people coming through the pantry that are utilizing the pantry? Much more people friendly. We introduce ourselves. We walk down the aisles with the people. We let them know you may have one, two, these are your choices. But also we have set up for the day if we have a particular product like we have corn this week. We will come up with ideas ahead of time. How can we encourage the participants to use fresh corn? Or how can we encourage them to use gluten-free, sodium-free? Um, we have recipes often using the different products. And so we can share if someone says, well, what am I gonna do with that? Or I can't eat this. It's nice having options and choices and sharing with them. Most of the time, I think I've encouraged them to get some products from all the different place on my plate so that it is a healthier choice. Were there any surprises or aha moments as you began to use the My Choice system or as you watched families go through? people started thinking about what they were picking instead of just saying I want one of those one of those well what are you going to use that with or if they took um, tomato sauce for example I'll say well I'm going to give you hamburger are you going to use that with it or later on you have a choice of chicken or pork would that make a difference what vegetables you're picking and so people were thinking what um, of the different products would go with some of their other choices. And to me that just sounded like they were thinking about their total meal packages. I'm Georgia Klein. I'm a volunteer at Bread of Life. Uh, I've been here nine years. Uh, that's about it. That's excellent. And I like it. And you like it. <laughs> Love that. I have some questions about the transition of Bread of Life Food Pantry. And the first one is, what was the environment like when you started volunteering nine years ago? Crowded. Crowded. <laughs> <laughs> there was freezers here, ladies making, filling bags here, the carts are here, and then you check in. Well, then the, the ladies are going back and forth to fill their bags, and the freezer lady has to say five people coming through she has to run through um, it was exciting and fun but very crowded and probably not as efficient as we are now how did you feel about the idea of transitioning to my choice when that discussion started I didn't think it was possible I, all I could see in my mind were 50 people running up and down the aisles, <laughs> and I was so wrong. And how has the My Choice transition impacted the way that you do your job and the way that you interact with the families that come through the food pantry? Oh, I no more bagging groceries. I love that, that that's gone. And also, um, I, I also like chatting. The, the short time that we have a little bit with the with the people that come through they're so kind and they're so thankful um, I don't know I'm I'm just thrilled that I get to do this so not only are they enjoying your company but you're also yes enjoying the well company. and I'm not a cook and so very often a lady will say, oh, well, I use this with this, and it makes a whole huge pot, and I throw in some vegetables that my children don't eat, and they don't even know they're eating. You know, they, they tell me things that, about their life, which I, lo I love. And the last question I have is, were there any surprises or aha moments for you? Yes, a big one. I am kind of quiet, and the, the people, the connection that I feel when when we go through and we're doing a tiny bit of chatting, not much, but we get to the end and they are smiling, which I try real hard to be cheerful, and they're smiling, they're thanking me, 
and every once in a while I get a hug. I mean, it's just, it's very, very fulfilling. I am Lynn Mills and I am Director of Bread of Life Food Pantry with the Lake County Area Church's Charities. Thank you. And so how did you, we, our relationship started mm -hmm. um, at the time that you guys started looking at transitioning. So how did you feel about the transition or the idea of my choice and Bread of Life trying to move that direction? Well, when we first started attending the food council meetings. I think that really bridged the, or started the friendship, I would say. Um, we worked together with the food council and other donation partners to even think about the change. When we first brought it up, we were so sure that we could because you're always used to just used to doing something. You know, you have shoppers, you have people coming into team members coming in each week, different ones, and you know, giving out the food that we were able to buy from Feed America and through our local shopping. Where today, you know, the relationship has changed. Without you, we would not had the um, vision, I don't think, um, with your guidance really has played a huge role in getting us to where we are today. Um, getting us to think about the My Plate and healthier choices and how to make that possible. And I just hear you saying that relationship started to open up and... Yes. I'll tell you, my first day in this pantry five years ago, I was in the line or in the row doing kids bags and I didn't even come out of that row. And to be in a position where we've seen such a huge transition going with the relationship building, the food choices available, I would have never visioned that five years from that day I would be director of this pantry. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that would have happened without your help and guiding us into doing it. Making it a thing that is possible. Mm -hmm. I remember when I first started and I came in to visit and you guys put me to work right away. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> and that was eye-opening for me so that yeah. you were teaching me as well. and. Um, that idea that we were kind of partnering and learning mm -hmm. from each other um, versus just coming in and pushing yes. uh, an it's, idea. Yes, it become more than just an associate or someone in the community that's helping us because you're my friend. Yeah. And I realized how much work it takes to do this mm -hmm. every week it repetitively does. as you empty out the pantry every and refill. Every Wednesday it's empty and every Monday we fill it back up and our donation partners help us provide healthier choices. Um, I'm so glad we don't have to ask if they want hot dogs or bologna anymore. That was the first thing that <laughs> went away when we went to this. <laughs> yeah. this. And I wanna think, once we change to choice, as, um, I'm also um, in charge of the buying. Um, it changed how our shoppers shopped. Instead of, here's this list, go out every week and get this. Now we're only shopping for the things that we need. It changed, so we don't need to buy so much of this item anymore, but we need more of this. So it was really eye-opener as to what people really wanted versus what we were giving them. And we don't get a whole lot back in food donations like we used to. You know, we'd give out the food and a lot of it would come back to us. What were some of the changes that you observed as the pantry transitioned to My Choice then? Um, it became, <clears throat> logistically, we needed more volunteers to I work on that. Wednesday. It went from having four or five people to now we need like six to ten. You know, really to make it go smooth, the check-in person. You can have maybe three families walking. You know, we try to give a little leeway because everyone gets stuck at the freezer choosing. There's choices. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. It's great. And we just, you know, do the flow of it. But we still, in the same, uh, we're open from 11 to 3 every Wednesday. We still service every family that comes through, and we usually close on time. So where we used to do 40 or 50, now we're doing 80 and 90 in that same time. So you're really being able to service more families in the same amount of time. 
instead of having them wait in line even longer or having to be open later. Wow, that's so powerful. I think it's, yeah, it made a big difference. And in order to go with the My Choice pro, you know, plan, we really had to be able to expand the pantry because the way it was set up, the rows ended up at the wall. There was no walking around a row to get food. It wasn't safe and it wasn't you know, viable. But once, it almost seemed like once we kind of gave in to that idea, things just happened. Well, grant money arrived to expand the pantry. Um, grant money arrived to purchase the freezer and cooler units, and it just kind of everything fell into place. But I truly think that you, even just you, Kendra. <laughs> keep <laughs> I really don't think we could have. Because we didn't see that, you know. We just saw hungry people that showed up at the line. Well, thank but. you so much for the work that you all do and um, for being willing always to step up and share mm -hmm. what you're doing because I think it's really a powerful model of what you've been open to and resilient and your ability to change and try new things. So. Thank you. Yeah, that was eye-opening for sure, because we weren't sure we could, but look, and we can, and everyone else can too. It mm -hmm. can be done. We can do it. Yeah, it's powerful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Kendra. You know Thank you. And, um...